Hi, and welcome to the ServiceNow homepage. In this video, we will walk through the necessary steps to configure the integration connections between Flexera 1 and ServiceNow using the Flexera 1 scoped application. The integration will allow you to seamlessly move data between the two systems. There are two one-way connections to be configured. The first allows you to transfer data from Flexera 1 into ServiceNow. This is commonly referred to as the import connection. The second connection allows you to transfer data from ServiceNow into Flexera 1. This connection is commonly referred to as the export connection. This video will consist of two portions. In the first portion, we will go over setting up the import connection. In the second portion, we will go over setting up the export connection. Before we start, I want to reinforce that you should only set up the connection that corresponds to the direction you would like the data to travel. If you are looking to have the data travel in both directions, i.e. a bidirectional, then you will need to set up both of these connections. There are a few steps that have been completed in preparation for this video that you will also have to complete. These include requesting the scoped application from the ServiceNow store, activating the application within the ServiceNow instance, as well as creating an integration account within ServiceNow that will be required for setting up the connection. Instructions on how to complete these steps can be found at docs.flexera.com. Once arriving at the docs.flexera.com site, you're going to want to choose a pro select a product. Here we're going to select the ServiceNow apps for Flexera products. And then we're going to choose the most recent version. In this case, we're going to select the version 1.5. This will bring you to the main page for the Flexera One scoped application. And it will cover um, all of the steps required, including the three items that um, I had to do in advance of this video. And to do that, just start here at the getting started, and then you can work your way through in chronological order through the documentation. Now let's get started. So I'm back on the ServiceNow homepage, and um, within the application menu, I've typed in Flexera. And you can see that we have a scoped application called Flexera 1. Now to start with, we're going to do the import configuration, and this is going to guide us through all the steps involved to set up the connection to have the data flow from Flexera 1 into ServiceNow. So to begin, I'm going to scroll down and under import configurations, we're going to go to connection. From here, this, um, as you can see, we don't have a current connection, so we're going to click on the new button and we are going to fill out this record. So I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call this one Flexera1. Um, as you can see, our endpoint and our OAuth token URL are already pre-populated. But I do want to point out that if you are in Europe or APAC, you will need to update these um, to coincide with what your Flexera org URL is. So if you have um, .eu, you're going to want to change that here on both of these two column items. Now, as you can see, we do need a couple of pieces of information from Flexera. So we're going to go and navigate over to our Flexera org, and we're going to grab that information, and then we'll come back to this screen and populate it. So I've gone over to our Flexera landing page. And from here, there was two pieces of information that we needed in order to complete the step within ServiceNow. The first one is the org ID. And in that can be found within your URL. And in this case, it is the 28010. So this is the value we're going to need to populate within the org ID on our import connection record. And the second piece of information it can be found uh, by clicking on your user profile details icon, going down to user settings, and then under the API credentials. Here we're going to click the create API refresh token button. And it's going to generate a token for us. 
and we are going to copy this token and then we're going to navigate back to ServiceNow and populate this information. So here we are back on our connection setup record and I'm going to paste in our refresh token and then our organization ID in my case was 28 zero one zero so I'm going to fill that in and then we are going to save this record and then just to validate that the connection it has is successfully set up we're going to click on the related link verify refresh token and as you can see we got a message saying that the token has been verified successfully and that is it for setting up the import connection. Now that we've completed the import connection, let's go through the steps involved to create the export connection. As a reminder, this connection should only be configured if you wish to have data flow from ServiceNow into FlexAero 1. So to start with, we're going to go back to our application menu and we're going to search for FlexAero 1, which will bring us to our scoped application. And in this case, we're going to go down all the way to the bottom under the advanced and application registry. Here we want to open up our Flexera 1 OAuth provider. And all we want to do within this record is just validate that our authorization URL and the token revocation URL, like the redirect uh, URL, has been updated. If these do not show your ServiceNow instance, then just click on the lock button and update it accordingly. And then you can go ahead and update your record. Next, we are going to go into the actual connection. So on this generate OAuth token, this is where we are going to leverage the integration account that we created in advance. So in my case, it is called Flexera1, and we will enter the password. And we're going to generate. So as you can see, we were able to successfully generate a token. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this token. Now that we have our token in our clipboard, we need to go back into our Flexera org. So from here, we're going to navigate to IT Visibility, Connections, and you should come up with a tile called ServiceNow. So we're going to click on the little icon up in the top right-hand corner to edit this connection. Uh, in this instance, we want to put in our ServiceNow URL. I'm going to put that, and then we are going to paste in our token. And then we're going to just simply click on the test and save button down at the bottom. And as you can see, we got a message back saying that our connection was successful. This concludes the second portion of the video setting up the export connection. Now that you have the two systems connected, the next steps would be to review and configure the integration properties. Detailed documentation can again be found at the docs.flexera.com, as mentioned earlier in the video. Thank you for watching.